Hello everyone and welcome back and I've got some more news out of California. It looks like they are trying to use an old law that was designed to fight slanderous allegations and death threats uh, and they're trying to apply it to somebody who has spoken badly about the Islamic faith. This guy was leaving comments on a Facebook page for an Islamic center in California, and now he's up on charges. Now, I think that this is kind of an, uh, a really screwed up situation all the way around. And if this law was relatively new, I would have to side with some of the people who are talking about this being like the bill up in Canada that just got passed, uh, Proposition 16 or whatever it was. However, this law is more than a hundred years old. So I'm going to kick to desktop mode here and let you actually see the breakdown of the law and where it was updated in 2008. So this is an archived copy of the Daily Caller from archive.is because the page may or may not have been taken down. This was reported just a couple of days ago. And here are the actual comments that the individual made that the California law is being used to prosecute him. Now, Mark Fainer, he sent five anti-Muslim posts to the Islamic Center of Southern California's Facebook page in 2016. He admits he did this. Here are the comments. The terror hike sounds like fun. More Muslims we allow in America, the more terror we will see. Practicing Islam can slow or even reverse the progress of human evolution. Islam is dangerous. Fact, the more Muslim savages you allow into America, the more terror you will see. This is a fact which is undeniable. And then filthy Muslim shit has no place in Western civilization. Now these are the comments he left. And the law that they are trying to use is this one right here. Now, as you can see, this law was initially added in California in 1872. And as we go through it, it actually stems the type of language that you can use. And here you can see communication with another and address to or about another person any obscene language or addresses to another person any threat to inflict injury or personal uh, or harm of personal property or any person in the person's address or family making repeated telephone calls repeated contacts by means of an electronic device now he was blocked and he didn't attempt to reestablish communication with him. They just blocked him and he hasn't posted anything more about it. Uh, and part of the update includes electronic communications devices also, but not, uh, but not limited to video phones, TTY, TTD, uh, TDD, smartphones, other methods of signal transference, writing images, sounds, or data. However, when you look at this law, it specifically talks about offensive comments or communications. And that right there is actually infringement of free speech. So California has dug up an old obscure law, which they patched in 2008 to make it modern, quote unquote, so they left in all of the language about obscene language or comments or addressments, um, but added modern communication devices. And now we have the district attorney in California setting up to start a trial and it was supposed to begin on January 2nd, according to the court records. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to fly because this is obviously a law that was specifically designed 
to impede the ability to have free speech or discourse. And I think that when this goes to court and gets appealed outside of California, because it will be appealed, that it'll be struck down because the wording is too vague and too overreaching in its restriction. It's one thing to restrict people from incitement of violence or making direct threats. It's another thing to stop people from using offensive comments because free speech was not designed to protect what people want to hear. It was designed to protect things people don't want to hear as well. And that's why no matter what, I let those people who detract from me speak. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube or thumbs up and subscribe on BitChute. Also, don't forget you can catch me at the social media spots down below. I'm going to include a link to the archive from the Daily Caller as well as the link to the archive to the California legal section where I pulled this law so that you can actually read it yourself and take a look at it. And I hope you understand now why I call California California. This is not something new. They've been doing this for more than 100 years. Thank you all and have yourselves a great day.